So in this video, uh, we will see uh, how to edit a page uh, from two pages itself. Uh, so in the previous video, we have navigated to application uh, configuration, visual builder, and then we navigated to a, a page and then we edited a page. So in this uh, video, we will see how we can edit the same page uh, through this uh, uh, visual builder page. So open any one of the page, any one of the record and wait till it load, load it. And once it is loaded, so then uh, click on the profile icon. And if we have sufficient roles and privileges, all the roles and user setup is correct, uh, that is uh, related to VB's, VB's uh, Visual Builder Studio uh, Studio. Then we will see these options, right? Uh, edit in edit page in Visual Builder. So click on that. Click on this. It will navigate uh, to uh, this particular page. So we are in the uh, account overview page. So uh, we will uh, we will go to uh, account create page. So previously we added these three fields and right. So and we will uh, try to edit this page, the same page through vis edit visual, visual builder. So it will ask uh, to select the project. So we have already created this project, right? So we will use this uh, project. So it will look for a, a workspaces, any um, new uh, new repositories. If it doesn't, it will create a new one. So now it is loading uh, to the same page, create account page. So it opened create account page. And directly we can uh, add a fields. So now he, uh, in the lights right hand side, we have this account create layout, click on that. And then it will, uh, it will navigate to the rule set page. So click on this account create layout, and then it will navigate to the uh, rule set page where we have this uh, duplicated pages. So now here add few more fields. So all the fields you can filter here. So these are all the API names uh, of account. So I have add, added one more field. Uh, okay, two fields, act underscore C, C B underscore C, and then customer type. So, so if we notice here, so it is automatically saving. So we don't need to save anywhere here. So once we, do the change it will automatically save and if you want to, to do uh, any undo change uh, if you want to do some, any undo changes so we, we have this options uh, we can undo or uh, uh, we can back uh, click on the do once uh, these uh, changes are done so click on the preview so after previewing, if you want to publish, so just use this publish icon and it, it has few options. Uh, and after that, it will publish. It will take few seconds and it will publish. We'll see that option later, but we'll, we, before that, we'll see the preview. It will refresh the page. It will load the page. Now we can see the additional fields added uh, right. So this is the second option to add fields to uh, the Visual Builder uh, extension page. 